Hi, my name is Craig Lowen. I'm a product manager at Microsoft working on the Windows subsystem for Linux. And today I'm joined by... It's Paul. Um, I'm a product manager working on Defender for Endpoint. And we've heard tons of feedback about how enterprises want to use the Windows subsystem for Linux, but find some key challenges in doing so, which is why we're very excited to announce that we are releasing some new enterprise features specifically targeted for security and manageability. Uh, these will address some key concerns, including the ability to monitor WSL, to control WSL's networking behavior, and to manage WSL in your enterprise environment. And so first, Paul is going to tackle how we added the ability to monitor WSL using Microsoft Defender for Endpoint. Yeah, thanks, Craig. Um, so <clears throat> kind of what Craig was mentioning is that in an enterprise environment, there are some key requirements around uh, security visibility um, that we need to meet in order for um, you, our customer, to be comfortable um, essentially running uh, what is a, a, an entirely extra Linux machine on top of a Windows machine. Now, from that perspective, uh, we built uh, what we call the Defender for Endpoint plugin for Windows Subsystem for Linux. It's a mouthful. Uh, it's very descriptive, <laughs> uh, but essentially what it comes down to, we provide you with a package. That package installs um, a sensor into the subsystem, so at a very core and deep level, and that will give you that same Defender for Endpoint visibility that you're used to um, from like normal Linux machines, except it's the subsystem. And uh, so that it, today I can show you a little bit uh, what does it look like? Um, you know, how do you install it? Uh, how, where do you go to get this package? So first and foremost, uh, you will see this package appear in the onboarding section of your Defender for Endpoint portal as Windows Subsystem for Linux 2 plugin. This is where you can download it, provide some basic instructions on how to run a detection test with a DIY script. Um, you can also deploy this package with uh, something like Intune or SSCM. Um, there are some links uh, available to that. I just know that with uh, Intune SSCM, you can also target the package to those machines that are in fact running WSL. And so that's one way of getting the package on there. If you do install this package on a given Windows machine, um, it will automatically onboard the subsystem to the same tenant that your Windows host is onboarding. And then it looks a little bit like this. So if we go to a specific machine here, um, you'll notice the WSL2 tag. We're actually looking at the subsystem running on a Windows host here. And a couple of ways you can tell that. Um, first and foremost, you're seeing Linux telemetry here. This is actually... A, almost identical to what you would see on given Linux host. Um, and then in the overview section, you will actually be able to see the hosted on information pointing to the Linux host. Now, in this case, this is a demo environment, so it doesn't populate the proper host name of the Windows host, but trust me, in your portal, it will. And then you will be able to click on it and you will actually pivot into the Windows host that is hosting the subsystem. And there you can uh, apply your existing response actions. You can isolate the host. You can collect investigation packages. You can look at incidents and alerts. Uh, and in fact, we do have a view of incidents that spans that combination of hosts and subsystems in order to detect kind of uh, attacks that move from one object to another. Well, that is essentially, in a nutshell, that's the experience you can expect from this plugin. And I'm very excited to provide it to our customers. Awesome. And bolstering this announcement, we're also excited to talk about networking improvements that will also improve your security uh, with regards to WSL. And so it looks like this, where uh, we've added, um, looks like this, where we've added a bunch of new networking features to help improve compatibility and add new features. And so that includes IPv6 support, um, ability to access with localhost from the Windows server, and more. And uh, those include features like mirrored mode networking, auto proxy, and DNS tunneling. And what that means is with a complex enterprise environment where you have proxies or VPNs, uh, you are able to have WSL automatically connect and get set up right away. On top of that, we're very excited to talk about Hyper-V firewall feature. 
Uh, this feature allows you to have the same networking story on Windows as you do in Linux, the same security and firewall story. And what it means is that all of your firewall rules that you have set on Windows will automatically apply to the Windows subsystem for Linux. So as a demo, here I am in Windows Defender, firewall with advanced security, and I've created a block GitHub rule here that just blocks all access to GitHub. And I've just done that by blocking a list, a huge list of IPs that belong to GitHub. And the experience is I'm able to go to Edge on Windows and not access GitHub. And before I would be able to access this inside of Linux in the Edge browser as well, um, because they were seen as different machines. Now with this feature, which is on by default, I have the same networking story on both. And we can even prove this because I can go and disable this rule. And then I can go back to Edge on Windows. I'm able to access GitHub and I can go back to Edge in Linux and I'm able to get access GitHub. So we hope that this will simplify your networking story when using WSL and your ability to manage both the Windows and Linux side. And then lastly, I wanna to talk to you about adding Intune support for Windows subsystem for Linux to help manage it as a Windows component. And so that looks like this. We have added a bunch of different features so you can manage aspects of WSL. To start, I wanted to highlight that you can manage firewall rules and settings that apply directly to WSL. So that Hyper-V firewall feature I just mentioned, you can go to Endpoint, uh, Security, and Firewall inside of your Microsoft Intune Admin Center. You can select Windows 10, Windows 11, and Windows Server, and you can select a Windows Hyper-V firewall rules profile or Windows firewall to affect settings. And these are enlightened to the WSL specific settings. So allowing this gives you some finer grained control um, over your WSL networking. So beyond just mirroring these settings, you can set specific settings for WSL um, if you so wish. And additionally, we have some settings to manage WSL itself as a Windows component. So if I go to devices and then I scroll down to um, configuration profiles, I can hit create new policy and then choose the platform of Windows 10 and later, and then select settings catalog. And from there, I can just search for the Windows subsystem for Linux in add settings. And then this will add a whole new set of settings that will let me control WSL and its security settings inside of the actual application. Um, so we have things like allow access to WSL entirely, allow access to nested virtualization um, or uh, custom kernels and more. And using these settings, you'll be able to have a lot of confidence that what you're running inside of WSL is secure, securely monitored, um, and on top of that, secure from a network perspective. And so if you want to get started with these settings, um, we recommend the best place to get started is at aka.ms slash WSL Enterprise Docs. Um, this will give you a list of how to use all these settings and where to get started for each. And then you can also visit aka.ms slash MDE plugin docs to get started with MDE. Anything else to know for it, Paul? That's pretty much it. Thank you. And so these yep. features are available for use today. Uh, the MDE plugin is in preview and ready for you to use, while the other features are all generally available and ready to go today. On top of that, these work on both Windows 10 and Windows 11, except for the networking features, which are Windows 11 only. Thank you very much for tuning in and happy coding. Thanks all.